Hi everyone. Welcome to the weekly Investables update packed with news and ideas. Keep listening for an inside perspective on what's happening at Investables and how an early stage startup can and perhaps should think about critical issues around product market fit. I guess last week was the last pledger update since we rebranded over the weekend. Why did we do that? Well, first of all, I want to say pledger is or was a great name for our startup. We didn't change it because it wasn't good. In last week's update, I mentioned how we were making a lot of bold decisions quite quickly. In enabled by 15 years of experience as founders. One of those decisions was to refocus the page's message, first of all, on the users of Oratis, our first client. At the end of the day, a crowdfunding campaign has to first appeal to the target audience of the product. In the process of doing this, I wanted to get away from the term NFT, which, as I've tweeted many times, I believe is tainted in the eyes of non-crypto public because of the association with Ponzi's and scams. So I asked ChatGPT for some options. And here's what it came up with. As you can see, nine of the 10 options are absolute garbage, but one of them, Investables, immediately stood out. Where Pledger is a good name, Investables is a category defining name. And so at the 11th hour, just before the launch, my co-founder and I decided to change the branding. Back during our first startup, we would have hesitated to do this. But the truth is, it wasn't that big a deal at this stage because very few people know about Pledger anyway. So if we were confident that Investables was a better name, and we were, then it was better to do the change immediately rather than continue to invest in building up Pledger as a brand. So we are now Investables. Of course, another big news is that we actually launched. Our first client campaign, Oratis, is live. Oratus is a dating and community app for lovers of astrology and spirituality. Now, this is where you might expect me to pitch Oratus to you and try to make a case for you to invest, maybe almost beg you to please consider this campaign. But I'm actually going to ask you something completely different. I mean, if you do feel drawn to backing Oratus, obviously, please don't let me stop you. But the most valuable thing for a startup is not money, or rather, it's not money obtained by unsustainable methods. It's information and learning. Investables as a business will live or die by our ability to help our clients present themselves in a way that convinces people to invest in them. Of course, we also need to actually build the software and the legal frameworks, but if the startups are not presented in a way that people find worth investing in, it doesn't matter how good the tech is. So here's my ask, if you're willing to help. And please understand that I really do deeply and personally appreciate anyone who steps up to help us at this early stage. Please go to the Investable site and click on active campaigns at the top. Then ask yourself three questions. What would convince me to buy one of these? What would convince me to buy 10 of these? What would convince me to buy 100 of these? It could be that the answer to all three is absolutely nothing. I would never buy into this. That's fine. If that's the case, please log into the Discord and let me know. If you're already convinced to buy one or 10 or 100 of these, of course, just do it. But even if you buy just one, I would love to know what would convince you to buy 10. What information is missing? Maybe Oratis is able to provide that information. Maybe it already has, but it's not presented right. Maybe it's hidden somewhere. Maybe we can rearrange the pieces in a better way to make a more convincing pitch. So what I want is not your money, unless you're already convinced to invest in Oratis. What I want is information. What would make you buy this? There are three groups that we're trying to appeal to here. NFT and Web3 folks, traditional investors, and of course, Oratis' own customer base. Each might require different information to be presented to them. And it's part of the challenge of building investables to figure out how to present that information well so it enables investors to commit and buy. So please don't give me your money. Give me your thoughts. Thank you, GM, and good luck.